when we lay or we sing on the altar of Trusting all that we need flows and flowers from God. Our thirsting will be satisfied when we burn with the holy desire. morning and welcome to prayer and devotion on this Thursday. It's Thursday, June 15th and starting off today um, with Julian Womble and Lydia Munoz. It was so great having them at annual conference this year singing uh, Mark Miller's We Abide. Um, so starting off that with that today. Today we are talking about um, the importance of, of showing up. 
showing up even when it's challenging, even when it's challenging. So um, today we're looking at Galatians 6, which we actually did pretty recently, but we're going to do it again. Um, but we're going to talk a little bit about something different today. So uh, I'll begin in verses 8 through 10, Galatians 6, 8 through 10. Let me say good morning to all of you. It's good to be with you this morning. Uh, good morning, Barbara, and good morning, Betty. Good to have you both here, praying for you this morning. And Vinette and Priscilla, I'm glad you're both here, holding you both in prayer as we begin the day. Good morning, Gail and Donna, uh, praying for... S I I'm praying everything. I'm not sure if you traveled back already, but keeping you in prayer. Um, good to have you both here today. Good morning, Michelle and Blanca. I'm glad you're both here, praying for you as we begin the day. And Sue and... Sorry, I'm all over the place. Sue and Marilyn. It's good to have both of you here praying for you. Good morning, Genevieve and Shelly. I'm glad you're both with us today. And Debbie and Labake, welcome. Good to have you both here. Good morning, Renetta and Susan. And I missed it, but happy birthday, Genevieve. I'm glad, glad you're here wishing you a happy birthday. And good morning, Susan and Renetta. Good to have you both here. Good morning, Yolette and Andrea. I'm glad you're with us too. Praying for, for both of you, praying for all of you as we start this day together. Okay, so we're looking at Galatians 6, and I'm going to begin in verse 8. So if you want to turn there in the Bible, in your Bibles, uh, my name is Cindy Stauffer. I'm blessed to serve as a pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. Our building is on the corner of George and Liberty Street. But our church is where the people gather. And so, welcome, church. It's good to have you here today. Good morning, Celia. I'm glad you're with us, too. Okay, let's take a look at Galatians chapter 6, beginning in verse 8. Remember, we talked about sowing not too long ago. So, But we're going to focus on something different today. But uh, Galatians 6, 8. If you sow to your own flesh, you will reap corruption from the flesh. But if you sow to the Spirit, you will reap eternal life from the Spirit. So let us not grow weary in doing what is right. For we will reap, for we will reap, for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. So then, Whenever we have an opportunity, let us work for the good of all, and especially those for those in the family of faith. Let us not grow weary of doing what is right, of doing what is right. So today's devotion uh, is entitled Keep Showing Up, it comes from Joyce Meyer's Strength for Each Day, and this is what she says. Our obedience to God must not be based on our circumstances because the circumstances of our lives are not always enjoyable. I have determined that whenever I go through a difficult time, I will simply keep showing up. This means I continue doing what I would do if I had no trouble. I keep my commitments, spend time with God as usual, and make a practice of continuing to be good and kind to the people around me. Is it easy? No, it isn't easy. Doing what is right is always easier if we feel like doing it, but doing what is right is always easier if we feel like doing it. But we are to give thanks and bless the Lord at all times, Psalm 34, 1. In addition, we are, continue, we are to, ugh, this is not my morning, I'm sorry. In addition, we are to continue to obey him, God, at all times. Doing what is right when it is hard always helps us grow in Christian character. Jesus did this regularly, and we are called to be transformed into his image 
and let him be our example in all things. If you're going through a difficult time right now, just keep showing up and doing the right thing. In time, your trouble will pass and you will have gained a victory. So this has always been a uh, good morning, Lynetta. So good to have you here and Betty and Jerry. I'm glad you're with us as well, praying for all of you this day. I've always said that I don't, I don't think I'm uh, equipped like other pastors are. There are some really amazing, you know, charismatic. I don't know that that's my gift. I've always said that my gift is, is showing up. <laughs> And so when I was a chaplain uh, doing clinical pastoral education in the hospital, that's what we had to do. We had to show up. And uh, there were days where you, you did not want to walk into that room. You knew, you know, maybe uh, a mother and father had lost their child or um, a young father had passed and you needed to tell his children. Um, I mean, there were days where I did not want to walk into that ER or into that room because I knew how painful it would be in there. And that really did, uh, I, but I would keep showing up. If I was called, I would go. And, um, and sometimes we're, sometimes I'm not called. Sometimes there's, there's the little voice in my head that says, you need to be in this place right now. And I can give you a whole raft of reasons why that is the very last place I wanna go. What if I don't have the right words to say? What if they can see my own anxiousness? What if it triggers my own grief? I mean, there's a raft of reasons why we don't do the things. What if it takes time, time that I wanted to be spending doing this? We, we have so many reasons why we don't keep showing up. Um, and some of them, can be good reasons, but when we show up, it makes all the difference. And so today, where are the places that maybe God is calling you to show up? To be about um, good work, work that will offer God's compassion and love, work that will bring about greater justice in the world, work that will remind someone that they are loved, someone who maybe feels forgotten or unlovable, someone who needs to know uh, that they're not alone. Where are the places that God is calling you to today? I want to encourage you to show up show up. It will make a difference, not only for you, but, and not only for this person, but for kingdom, for the whole kingdom. Because my friends, when one of us is hurt, when one of us is in pain, when one of us is grieving, it is as if the whole body is. So today, where are the places that God is calling you to keep showing up. Now, I know we're not all pastors, but <laughs> we are all ministers. We are all called to go. So today, where is God calling you to go? Who is God calling you to reach out to or show up for? As we move into this time of prayer, the, lately I've been asking for prayer requests um, which is helpful because it tells me who you are all praying for this day and helps us to add prayers to the list, to our own prayer lists. I'm going to ask today that you pray for Nellie. Uh, Nellie is someone, Nellie and her, her spouse, Tyrone, um, would worship with us periodically. Um, they are not, they, they have not currently been on the streets, but there have been times where they've been living on the streets and Tyrone passed away on Monday. And uh, so I just, I'm asking that you hold Nellie in prayer. I told her that we'd be praying for her and she needs to know that she is deeply loved. 
um, and so we're going to be having a service for Tyrone. But if you would pray for Nellie, and uh, yesterday I got a chance to see uh, Russ and and um, Gabe and Augusta, and so I ask that you continue to hold all of them in prayer as well. If there are any prayer requests on here, uh, I invite you to lift them up as we move into this time of prayer. As we pray today, ask God to use you, to show you where God needs you this day. Let us pray. God, we come before you this day grateful. Grateful for breath in our lungs. Grateful that you have woken us up to a beautiful day. Grateful for all the ways that you have worked in our lives over this last week, for the people that you've brought into our lives, for the prayers that have been prayed on our behalf, for the ways that you have brought um, goodness into each of our lives. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for all the many blessings that are part of this day. But Lord, we also acknowledge that there have been times that you have called us to go and we have given excuses. We have given every reason why we cannot go where you call us to be. We are like Jonah running in the other direction. And yet still you call out to us. Still you need us. Still... Um, we feel those inner nudges to go and be present, to show up and keep showing up. And so this day, Lord, give us the boldness, give us the peace, help us to know that our presence is enough, that when we show up, we don't have to have all the words. We just need to be present and to offer your love. Lead us to the places you need us to be. Use us this day, Lord, for your kingdom work. We ask all this in your name, Lord Jesus, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Okay, so um, traveling mercies for Susan and Jim as they travel to Tennessee. We're holding you in prayer. And I um, also want to ask that you continue to pray for Myrna and her family, as well as uh, Yolette, who will be going in uh, for her procedure next Tuesday. I know she's on here too, so lots of prayers. Um, God loves you, my friends. Keep showing up. God loves you, and so do I. Have a very blessed day. And tomorrow will be a recording, um, but there will be a prayer and devotion at 6.30. And then uh, I'll be back with you on Saturday. And mark your calendars because Sunday is a children's day and it's going to be amazing. Oh, praying for Fred. We'll be praying for Fred as well, Andrea. He's a good, good husband. Yeah. Okay. Have a good day. Bye, friends.